Hey everybody, this is Jeff Wilson from fitforlife365.com and this is the first Health Talks vlog video and we will be talking about uh, a new way to look at New Year's resolutions and uh, I'll go over some tips as to why and so we'll, we'll really dive into your why, why do this at this time of the year, what, you know, just a couple things that can benefit you. Um, uh, so whatever those goals may be, whether it's just um, trying to lose weight, you want to start a new fitness program, you want to try the Whole30 diet, whatever it may be. Um, so it's really just more of a, a way to look at things a little bit differently. Um, you know, especially if you're watching this or the title intrigued you, more than likely you're thinking one of two things. Uh, dude, it's like late February, early March. Why are you putting this video out when it's the new year was a couple months ago? Um, or you're intrigued by what um, what I might say because you have potentially failed or you never set goals, stuff like that. Um, so we're gonna go over a few of those things right now. So I looked up a little article uh, from the US World News Report and uh, it stated that 80% of New Year's resolution, resolutions fail by February, 80%. Um, when you think about that statistic, that's crazy, uh, I mean, four out of five people literally fail by February. So not even fail, they just fail by February. Um, and that kind of got my mind thinking a little bit. Um, and even in December when I was home with my family, I had a lot of time to think I was taking some time off. And I started thinking to myself like, okay, I like making New Year's resolutions. I'm not as big as some, bigger than others, but you know, I just thought, hey, maybe this would be a great idea um, uh, to, to do and just kind of look at uh, from a different perspective. And also I was like, what if I did it in like February? I got back home. I'm not sitting here putting this pressure on myself to do something right here, right now. Um, and so I kind of went with it and then I figured, hey, I would wait to write this post and send it out and, um, uh, and make this video. You can uh, see my blog post below for the link. Thanks. Right. Most people plan to fail. Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, people make New Year's resolutions based off the wrong reasons. So. Uh, there's a few things here, so they may make it off of other people's goals. They hear that, uh, you know, Sally wants to lose weight and it's at the New Year's Eve party or the Christmas party and you're sitting there eating a donut <laughs> or cupcake or something like that. And then, you know, hey, I've been thinking about losing weight for a long time and now all of a sudden you're here and it's New Year's and people starting to ask you, hey, what are your New Year's resolutions? Hey, I also want to lose 20 pounds. Um, you know, that's not a bad thing. But typically, if it's not coming with a huge why other than you're worried about what other people think of you, um, you know, you're just kind of basing your goal off of other people's statements, what you just read, something on social media, um, sometimes that may spark something big. I'm not saying that, you know, seeing a post by somebody or somebody trying to sell a weight loss program or, you know, whatever we're referring to here um, is a bad thing. But, um, you know, when it comes to what you're doing uh, to try to help yourself um, get a better perspective on why you're doing it. Um, it's best to really, really think uh, critically as to um, am I trying to do this for somebody else? Am I trying to do it for me? And uh, just kind of go from there um, to make the best informed decision so that you don't uh, fail ultimately. Most people will honestly not ever really make a plan. They write it down, sometimes not even write it down, it's just in their head, and there's no actual plan to put in place. Um, to actually, hey, what, what am I going to do? What time of day am I going to do these things? How much am I going to read? How much, you know, like, think about the goal tangibly to what yours is. And then think about, did you actually put it into your schedule? You know, and um, another note is um, just kind of as a tip, you know, if you're adding something, especially completely new, if it's fitness oriented, which is probably why you're watching this, did you ask your spouse? Um, did you talk to your partner? You know, the, Kids, you know, what parents like, do they know that you're now going to wake up at 5.30 in the morning every day? Is that going to affect them in a negative way? Um, is it just more of, one, one of those things where somebody says, hey, this is awesome. You want to do this. You want to run your first 5K. You want to run your first marathon in August. So you're going to start training. That's great. But do you really think through the difficulties, potential difficulties, if you will, of um, how your change uh, will actually affect the people close to you. And then with the people close to you on that subject, do you have the right people near you? And 
So that's something I really want people to think about when you're thinking about your why. Um, you know, so to, you know, big thing for you guys to take home with. Think about your why. Why are you doing this? Why do you want to run? Um, you know, a certain race, a certain time. Um, why is this this race? If you want to lose a certain number of pounds, you want to learn how to. Um, you know, you want to work with a personal trainer to tone up. You know, what is the reason for it? And really dig deep into that. Um, you know, so do that first, but then think, okay. Um, all right, next, how is this going to affect the people around me? How is it going to affect my current life? How much can I physically put in? Um, and then what other things do I need to change? Nutrition, sleeping habits. And then I want you to pick a start date. And so this is where this post kind of gets a little different than your typical New Year's resolution because um, you've either already failed at yours or you haven't ever set any. And now here we go. Um, so pick a start date. Pick March 1st. Um, if you're watching this, that's past March 1st. You know, pick March 15th. Pick something... Uh, definitive and not just today which may not you know you might be that type of thinker that you know goes that route that's completely fine but um, you know think about be very self-aware about where you are in this and how you would react to just a random goal being just put in your face are you going to adhere to it or do you need some time to like plan it out you know what type of person are you and then go with it from there so um, there you go. I, I hope this helps kind of re, you know, kind of take a different approach to your New Year's resolutions and to whatever your fitness goals may be. And if you want some help designing a plan, please let me know. Um, I can, uh, I can help you, uh, create a running plan. I can help you create a fitness plan. If you're in the Colorado Springs area, we can meet one-on-one -on -one and, uh, we can discuss your goals and how you can approach it in a very, manageable way so that you succeed in the future and um, you know you don't retract and end up uh, just kind of floundering a couple months later and then you end up failing quote unquote and then you just don't look at yourself in the mirror in the same way you feel like you failed for other people and then it's just a spiral and that just continues so I hope this helps and uh, thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel I'll read the blog post below as I go into a little bit uh, a little bit more detail and uh, yeah, definitely uh, sign up for my email list. And uh, yeah, again, thank you and have a great day.